down on three to the uh, Waffle League who said we didn't qualify. But that's, this will be this coach, man, Gerba. Coach, um, your reaction to this victory by your team against the whole nation, Ghana? Yeah. I think uh, I've, won the, I've won the after under 17 in 2007 in Togo. <laughs> I've won the after under 20 in Senegal. The Senegal 2015. I've won the World Cup two times at under 17 level. One at assistant coach 2007. I won at the court in 2013 in Dubai with the last of the Elena Trump. But today again, my best moment. Why? Because we just had three weeks in camp with this world you see. Only three weeks. But for them to have even qualified for the semi-final, I want to tell you that today remains one of my best moments in life. La question à coach, c'est que l'impression de, de match face au Ghana aujourd'hui. Et ils disent oui, moi je suis très content en voyant les joueurs jouer au fond. Parce que nous on a eu juste trois semaines de se préparer pour sept tournois, mais on a bien joué, on a bien, on a joué au fond, on a joué avec toutes nos forces. Et aujourd'hui, si je suis là avec toutes les histoires de Nigeria, quand on parle des U17, Je suis très content même d'avoir troisième place parce que on voulait juste qualifier mais on a qualifié aussi. On a fait jusqu'à cette demi-finale et maintenant on a eu une troisième place. Ça veut dire que je suis très content de ce que les jeunes sont fait aujourd'hui. Merci beaucoup. Um, question. Coach, uh, after the game against Togo, I believe I asked you about the possibility of beating Ghana. In the finals, and you, you questioned me that there's a possibility that both teams will meet in the third place. But you, you mentioned something about your statistics in relation to playing against Ghana. Oh, you, you mentioned your statistics in relation to playing against Ghana and not losing a game when you yeah. put your side to play against Ghana. Because yes, in 2015, I came with the national under 20 here in Ghana. We get two friendly, just one of one day. First game was 2 2 on Saturday of the day, 2 0. We still met in the in the semi-finals in the Afghan in Senegal, I will won 2-0. Then in Morocco, 2013, the Afghan, in our first round, we defeated Ghana 6-1. 2019, in the World Cup tournament, we defeated Ghana in the finals. After playing one one goal, one of the penalties. So, my destiny is always to go and meet a Ghanaian team. I've never lost against Ghana. Chris, you didn't allow me to ask my question. <laughs> my question was, I wanted to add with the question that that record, do you believe is in as much as this is a third place game, did you take it to a bit more important to maintain the record that you have against Ghana? No, it wasn't about record. As I said earlier, these young players have just been camp for three weeks. Three weeks. Ghana has been camp for more than six six months. Because we have on everything. Imagine assembling a team for three weeks and coming to the semi-finals. That's an achievement. So I must say that I am, I'm proud of our boys for not even getting the tournament, but they played very good football too. And I must say, Ghana played well today too. You can see they, they lost two legends, although we lost many more chances than them in the first half. All right, coach. Ok. La question c'était, chaque fois Nigeria jouait face au Ghana, bon, pour lui là, il a eu des bons résultats. Qu'est-ce qu'il peut dire de ça Il dit oui, pour lui c'est que chaque fois il a un match contre Ghana, ça veut dire que c'est un match où il va gagner. Et l'histoire dit tout. Parce que quand on voit U17, dans 2017 aussi, ils ont gagné, même au Morocco, la Cannes aussi, ils ont gagné. Et aujourd'hui aussi, il avait l'espoir que ça sera la même chose et il sera, il sera une victoire d'aujourd'hui. Ça veut dire que chaque fois qu'on voit Ghana, il est content. Mais ce qui est important de retenir, c'est que ces enfants ou ces jeunes ont eu trois semaines de préparation. Ça veut dire qu'ils sont contents de manière ils ont évolué. Parce qu'ils ont bien joué aujourd'hui. Quand on voit ma façon a eu six mois de se préparer. Mais nous, on a fait trois semaines seulement, mais on a eu la chance de gagner Ghana et on a eu une bonne semaine de Ça veut dire tout content de ça. All right, coach. Congratulations. As a technical man, what did you 
noticed or observed from the Ghana team that you took advantage of to get the victory? Uh, honestly, we, we do. I just saw part of their match, the opening match, and the last match. But you can easily see that Ghana always wanted to play white. But so did the others play great gap in between themselves, especially in the middle. But we have noticed that the white part is not too good in driving ball, and the center parts are slow, not because of their size, not because of their size. So we knew that when we play the ball on the ground, we can always play the trade and create clear court chances. And that is exactly <coughs> what, what happened. Most of, our, uh, most, of, most, most of the most of the goals we see are as a result of the force, maybe of the center back and the and the goal back the first two. Okay. Um, okay. La question c'était quelles sont les faiblesses du Ghana lors du match d'aujourd'hui et qui suit en voyant les matchs on peut dire il y a deux problèmes de l'équipe ghanienne premier c'était les gardiens et deuxième c'était les défenseurs centrales ça veut dire que de façon ils jouent c'est une façon on peut les rattraper bien parce qu'ils ne courent pas bien et les gardiens aussi ils ont toujours des de hauts son poste ça veut dire qu'on a, a pris ça comme avantage et on a joué et aujourd'hui on a eu la chance Alright coach, I saw a tactical change in this game compared to the one against Ivory Coast in the semi-final. Um, you started John Oche, the 14 shattered in this game against Ghana. But against Ivory Coast, I'm pretty sure you needed a win uh, to qualify to the final. But in that particular game, you benched him. He started from the bench. But today, he was very instrumental against Ghana. That's it tactical change that I saw in the game. Can you tell us the reason of you starting John Obuche in this particular game against yeah, Ghana, but not in the semi-final against Ivy Coast? Yeah, what really happened is, John is a changing player. You play anywhere, you, you, you will deliver the goods. If you see in today's match, we already have three injury cases. In the last game against like, Okina Faso, Rafa had like, one of the strikers. It's out because of the injury. He got an ankle injury. He couldn't even press today. Mm. So I decided, after speaking to my technical people, that it is better with the John to support uh, the identity of the movies. The player who I thought would have even won the, the man of the man today, but unfortunately, the team, the team went so much. Some of you are putting a I'm great. And greater, uh, and, greater, and greater than six too. But that goes by the way. So I think John, John is somebody who can, who can play in all positions. But I decided to play him because you, have to, uh, you can see that when I even, uh, when I left back got injured, I have to take Imran Mahama to left back and I will do John to meet him and bring him to, to, to join the attack. So it's a two-three player who can who can play well in all positions. Guys, uh, excuse me, please. Press conferences, phones off. Please, we have to go now. The next game is starting, so we have to prepare the match. Thank you very much. For Thank you. The Nigerian. Okay, one Nigerian. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Francis Achi, uh, in the NFF. Uh, congratulations, coach. It was a very hard fought win, 3-2 in favor of Nigeria. We have qualified as far as we got the points. What is the way forward for these young boys? We just take the count, as you said, for three weeks. What, what should be the way forward for them ahead of half-com um, program? Yeah, I think, I think the federation, we have communicated with the federation. They knew that it was late for our started late. And I believe we'll prepare very well for the outcome. And it is said that 10 countries are going to represent Africa in the World Cup. So I believe CAF will do well to check all the four teams from this group that are going to the same final. Why? Because was Africa be in the stronghold of African football when it comes to the youth level? Like I said in one of the postman meetings, 
They are very rooted number one in the world at under 17 level. Followed by Brazil, then Ghana. We also have Cote d'Ivoire at one bronze at one time with Ghana. We can also have a view at under 17 level. Even Niger, Washington can give us four slots from this zone. I think it is imperative for the waffle, uh, for the waffle officials to follow up on this, on this thing. I cannot imagine playing uh, an art form without the loss of Ghana or Nigeria. So that's my plea to, uh, to the waffle citizens to make sure they get four teams to the have come from this group. Thank you very much.